Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you in my little corner of YouTube where we speak all things adulting, faith, and lifestyle. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That red button must turn gray. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it. And last but not least, hit those notification bells so that you do not miss another video. So without wasting any more time, let us get straight into today's video. So today's video is all about credit scores. Before I get any further, I would like to put out a disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, nor am I qualified to be one. So do not take this video as financial advice. If you feel like you need a financial advisor, do reach out. There are so many out there who are willing to assist and who are qualified to assist and give you the advice that you need. So let us get into today's video. So today's video is all about credit and credit scores. You reach a point in your life where you need credit, whether it is to buy a house, a car, a phone, open clothing accounts, whatever it may be, at some point in your life, you will need credit. I personally hate credit, hate it, but you will reach a point in your life where you need credit. You know, as a young adult, I think a bulk of our money goes to credit. And as we get older, you know, all of these debts start getting paid off and stuff and um, your assets then increase and are higher than your credit, you know, and your liabilities. But right now in the age group that we're at, it is likely that your credit is higher than your assets. Um, so today's video, we are tackling um, credit scores and why you need them. I've realized through conversations with my peers that people don't know too much about credit scores. And I think credit scores are extremely important. They can do one of two things for you. They can ruin your life or they can make your life very easy. So this video aims to make credit scores um, and your life easy. So essentially a credit score is a numerical representation of your credit worthiness. In layman's terms, can lenders trust you? And you need this, especially when you're trying to make um, big purchases and you need money from the bank. The bank won't just randomly give you money, not knowing if you can pay it back. They need to, you know, look at your past and see, does this person have a, you know, a, a history of paying back debt? Um, are they a good payer? Um, will we get our money back? You know, because lending money to you is a risk and they need to know if that risk is worth it or not. Um, so that's essentially why creditors look at your credit score before approving any application of debt or any credit application um, in your name. So there are a few things um, that go into consideration when your credit score is calculated. And I'll go through a few of them now and explain them to you guys briefly um, so that you can understand what goes into um, you know, calculating your credit score. Number one, your payment history. In the past, have you been a good payer? Have you paid your accounts on time? Have you not missed any um, account payments or debt payments? How is your credit history? How is your payment history? Number two, your credit history length. This basically means um, how long you've had debt. The longer you've had debt, I know this sounds so dumb because debt isn't something that we should be striving to be in, but how, like the longer you've had debt, the higher your credit score because they're able to see trends. And if those trends are good and positive, your credit score would be higher. Another thing that is taken into consideration is the amount of debt you have versus the income that you have right now. If you are over relying on debt, this is a red flag to creditors and it does negatively impact your credit score. So don't be too over-reliant on um, credit. It's, it's not good. Um, just also don't bite off more than you can chew. Like there's, there's no reason to be in that much debt or have that much credit. Another thing that is taken into consideration is your credit mix. How diversified is your credit profile? Don't just have five phone accounts, have a house, have a phone, have a car, have, you know, like it's, it's diversified. It shows that you're not just depending on one 
form of income. I think this also goes with investments, you know, diversify your investments. Same thing with credit, diversify your credit. Um, it just looks good to the credit bureaus um, and the people who, you know, calculate our credit scores. The last thing that I want to touch on that is considered when calculating your credit risk is your recent activity. Have you applied for too much credit in the last six to 12 months? If you've applied for too much credit in the last six to 12 months, it will negatively impact your credit score. With me, I experienced that last year when I was applying for my home loan because I applied to all the major banks and literally that, you know, my credit score took a bit of a hit because I had the same application everywhere. And in as much as yes, they all approved me, it's, it still looks like, you know what, like you're applying for too much debt at the same time. So be careful of applying for too much debt in such a short period of time. One thing I can highlight is that it is extremely important for you to check your credit score regularly. This helps you see if you are on the right track or if you are doing things mindlessly that are harming your credit score and you're not even aware of it. You might be doing some things that you don't realize are harming your credit score and by checking it regularly, you're able to combat whatever is negatively impacting your credit score. So do check it regularly um, and check it even more when you are considering the big um, ticket purchases, such as a house and a car, because those things determine the interest rate. That leads me to my next point. If you have a shaky credit score, one of two things can happen. When you are applying for credit, the place that you're applying for credit for can either decline your application or they can give you that credit, but at a higher interest rate. So it's extremely important for you to make sure that you have a healthy credit score so that you can be accepted or approved for the credit that you're applying for, as well as have that credit or pay back that credit at a reasonable interest rate. So definitely keep that in mind when you are checking your credit score. Now, when looking or reading your credit report or looking at your credit score, you can see whether it is poor, it ranges from poor to excellent. And I'll put a little graph thing here while I'm explaining this, but essentially there are specific ranges that will tell you that, you know what, whatever I'm doing is good and my credit score is great or it is not so good and I should probably fix my life. So if your credit score is 490 and below, you have a poor credit score. Fix your life. Fix your life, you have a poor credit score. You will probably not get accepted for the credit that you're applying for if your credit score is below 490. If it is between 490 and 550, it's okay. Like your credit might be approved, but at a slightly higher interest rate. If it is between 550 and 600, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's, it's decent. You know, your, your credit will be applied. You will get the credit that uh, your credit will be approved. Um, you probably will get the credit that you've applied, um, that you've applied for from 600 to 650. This is where I currently am right now. This is very good credit. Um, it could have been better had I not applied for all those home loans at the same time, but I mean, uh, it happens and because those home loans were applied for um, less than 12 months ago, I'm still recovering from that. But it's very good credit and you probably will get a decent interest rate when you apply for credit with this kind of score. Um, if your credit score is 650 and plus, you have an excellent credit score. Kudos to you. Continue doing what you're doing. You have got this under control. Like whatever you're doing, listen, teach teach the rest of us, teach the nation. So the last thing I want to discuss in today's video is where you can get your credit score. My personal favorite is ClearScore. ClearScore can be used for free. I'll leave all um, the links in my description, but ClearScore is a free platform for you to get a credit report. The one thing I absolutely love about ClearScore is that you can always get a free report. The others that I will be um, mentioning from now after clear score, you see, anything I'm mentioning after this, you get one free credit report a year. Thereafter, if you want more than one a year, you'll have to pay a fee. The first um, place where you can get a credit score um, or your credit report is TransUnion. The second place is Experian. 
The third place is XDS and the fourth place is CompuScan. These four that I have just mentioned, remember, they only give you one free credit report a year. If you want more than just one, you should probably you're probably going to be expected to pay a minimal fee of sorts. So this video is the first of a two part series. Um, the next video that you see on credit scores will be going into how you can practically improve your credit score. So do stay tuned for that. Put on your notification bells, subscribe and all of that jazz so that you do not miss it. I think that it'll be a valuable video for those who are trying to, you know, build their credit, a credit score or improve their credit score. So stay tuned for that. Once again, the disclaimer, this video is not financial advice. Please guys, please, please, please. This video is not financial advice. If you need financial advice, go and find someone who's qualified to give it to you. So with that, we have reached the end of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other vis videos you'd like to see either under the same topic or other topics. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it and hit those notification bells so that you do not miss another video. So with that, with so much love and so much light from me to you, have an amazing rest of the day. Stay safe and God bless. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.